Hi, this is Dr. Laura Conover, and today I just want to give you a couple of tips on how to be more safe and healthy when using this thing, because I know that I need my cell phone, and I do my business all the time on my cell phone, and as a mom, if you're a parent, you know, especially, I got two teenagers, and I want to stay connected, and I want to know where they are. So for safety, and for business purposes, and for life, I like to have my cell phone, but I definitely want to minimize the uh, health ramifications that I know that this has. We are conductive. Every cell in our body is conductive. And on the positive side, because of our conductivity, we can use that as a healing pathway, which is why I'm a huge fan of grounding. That is my favorite healing modality. It supports every cell in our body, every organ in our body, and all of our biological processes. So grounding is a way that we can really robustly support the health of the conductivity and the function of our entire body. But on the negative side, because we're so conductive, we are very vulnerable to radiation and e-smog, electrical uh, currents and fields that are around us all the time. I'm getting it right now, recording this on my laptop. I'm holding my cell phone because I want to show for you guys, show you guys a couple tips on how to use this a little more safely. So the first thing you want to do is what I just said is is examine your cell phone use. When you're not using it, this guy should be on airplane mode. So uh, I hope you know how to put your phone instantly on airplane mode. When you're not actively using it, and especially especially for women, I know I do this once in a while when I go to the bathroom and I don't know where to put my phone, and I don't want to put it down in a public on a you know on a public surface. So you stick it. Where do you put it? You put it right in your bra. That thing better be on airplane mode before you hold it to your chest because like in that EMF uh, cell phone radiation study, your heart is only takes 14 days to show effect and to actually physically change. So that's not cool in a nation where heart disease is, our, is one of our number one threats to our health. You want to put that on airplane mode, especially if you're going to hold it to your body, stick it in your pocket, put it in your purse and put your purse on. Um, go run. I know I go on a jog and I put it right here so I can listen to music and I've got my headphones plugged in, but it's on airplane mode. So when it's on your physical body, you want it on airplane mode. Okay. But is that realistic when you need to actually use it? No. I'm not a huge fan of shielding phone cases. So there are phone cases where you can snap your phone in and it's got shielding material here. And the good ones also, when they close, have a shielding material here. So now it's shielded like this. It can still function because it can still receive uh, t your texts and your emails. But um, you're hopefully when you're carrying it, not getting, uh, you know, you're reducing your exposure. I don't love that though, because whether it's just on the back or whether when you open it to use it, you flip it around. Now this shield is acting like a reflector and all of when you are using it's great when it's closed but when it's closed and you're not using it you could just put it on airplane mode and completely stop all radiation and, and signaling so that's i think better than a case just put it on airplane mode when you're traveling and not using it you know when you're walking to the car when you're driving when you're uh you know not using it because you have a landline phone in your office and so you're not using your cell phone put it on airplane mode and then don't i wouldn't use the shielding cases because Again, if you then have the shield and now I'm texting, well, I think I'm being safe because I'm not holding it to my head. I'm texting. So that's better, right? It's infinitely better. But the shield is acting like a mirror and just reflecting more radiation than it would be if it was unshielded. Because at least then some of the stuff's going out the back, going the other way, right? So uh, I would not use uh, hard shielding cases that your phone snaps into. Put it on airplane mode. Three... When you do use it, you don't want to hold it up to your head. You want to put it on speakerphone and place it down or in your car. You know, it's, you're talking on speakerphone when you're driving. You're not looking at your phone and you don't have it anywhere and you're not touching it even. That's what, how you want to use it. And texting, same thing. You want to um, not have it near your body. Obviously, you're touching it with your hands, but you do not want to hold it to your body. If it's on your body, it should be in airplane mode. Here's the exception. Here's the only cell phone... Uh, shield that I carry and it's because it's the only one when you think about it that reduces your exposure instead of increase it because all the stickers you can put on the back all the shielding all the cases when you're using your phone if you ever text with it or look at your emails through it or play a game uh, or use any kind of app you're increasing your exposure because that shield is now reflecting it back onto you the whole time except for this guy this one is a cell phone uh case which has shielding material on one side and why i like it is when i'm using my phone i don't have it in this because i don't want the shielding reflecting it back on me but um say i want to keep it on i don't want to put on airplane mode because i want to hear when i get a call 
I'm going to slip my phone into this, and I love it. It's a huge size. You can see it's, it's overly big, but it's because some people have ridiculously huge cell phones. So, you know, you can keep, I have an OtterBox, which is big, and it still fits in really easily. And now I can put it in my purse, and as long as this shielding side is now the part that I hold against my body, I'm shielded, the phone's still totally functional, and I can take off the shielding material when I want to use it. The other advantage is I never talk on the phone with my phone cell phone all the way up to my head but if you're going to you can d safely actually shield your body and your brain and your inner ear because you can have your phone on and be taking a live call and put it in this outer pocket so that it's receiving the live call very nice and clear and you can actually talk right through it so um, I'm speaking into this phone it's receiving the message very clearly but I have this nice shielding material which is blocking over 99% of the radiation uh, going into me. Even then, you don't necessarily want to press it onto your head. You can hold it like this, a little bit of space, but this is completely blocking. My head is completely, like I said, like 99% blocked from all of this radiation. And in fact, it's reflecting out and going that way, which is awesome. But then when I want to turn around and use the face of my phone, I'm going to take it out of this and I'm going to use it without any extra reflection shielding, shielding material making it come back to me. So I really love this. If you're going to ever put your phone on your body, carry it in your um, pocket or your purse, or use the actual cell phone, you want this, this cell phone shield. It's the only one I'll carry because it's the only one that's that versatile and healthy and helping in all circumstances. A lot of shields are helpful in some circumstances, but then harming you in other circumstances. I'm not going to carry any product on my website or endorse any product that has any component of harm that I'm aware of. And so that's why that's the only cell phone shield that I'll use. Two more ideas for you. This is a, I carry this all the time in my purse because this is a silver cloth. And this is instead of hand, toxic hand sanitizers, which are now all being recalled because they're really bad for you. Um, this, you just wipe things down. It's uh, antimicrobial, antibacterial, and this is what I use to turn doorknobs when I'm out and about. I didn't get sick this winter at all because I was using this all throughout my day. Um, you know, I just keep it in my purse, and if I'm in a, in a restroom or a gas station or whatever, I just use this, and I wipe it with my hands off. You can wipe yourself in off so it's nice and clean. Anything you want, your laptop, whatever. So I always have this with me, and then I realize this is also a portable little tiny shielding blanket. So a lot of times when I'm driving in the car and I say I don't have this, but I know I always have this because I always have this for the antimicrobial action for my hand sanitizer. So I take this out of my purse, and if I'm at a restaurant, you just drape this over it. So now it's shielded all the way around. If you have any kind of inner ear sensitivity or vertigo or nausea or dizziness or ringing in your ears, you might want to consider a headband like this. It's super stretchy. It's just made out of silver. It's very similar to this. A uh, hand sanitizer wipe that I carry around that I use also as a makeshift shielding um, little mini napkin. But this is a headband that you can wear around your head and protect your ears so that when you are talking on the phone, I hope that you're using speakerphone, but if you're going to be holding it up and you hold it up about this far away and you have this headband on, I'll show you in a second, it's at least protecting your ear and your inner ear, your vestibular apparatus and your um, your sense of balance. On top of that, this is groundable, so all I have to do is put this on and clip a grounding cord to it, and it's touching my forehead, it's touching the back of my neck, it's touching my ears. Now, even if I don't need it for shielding, this is what I travel with, because I can slip this on at night, put my hair up in a bun, and put my little headband on, clip a grounding cord to it, and I'm totally grounded. Um, so it's the most portable, because all you do is roll it up like this here, on my desk here. Um, and so this, who can't travel with this? so tiny, super soft, you know, fits in your hand, but it's a portable grounding device that you can put. I mean, guys can wear it too, girls and guys. Let me put it on really quick. I don't really like the look of me in a headband, but hey, I'll do it for grounding because like I said, that's protecting the conductivity of my body and my health. And in between too, you can use it for shielding your ear. Also in the winter. Now, this is keeping you warm and yet it's groundable. So it's conductive. So um, it also is shielding you from the cell phone towers and all the radiation and the Wi-Fi everywhere you go. So if you want to stay warm and you want a portable grounding device and you are, by the way, going to be using your phone, you can adjust this however you want to cover whatever you want. But at least now, my inner ear is protected. So those are lots of different ways to protect yourself from these guys, which... I find very necessary in my life and which I use, but I use with protection. And so it's on airplane mode right now. And I got this when I'm out and about 
and I wear this when I also want to have an option of grounding and I would certainly use this if I was going to carry it on my body or talk with it up to my head and this is the only one I would recommend. So hopefully those tips will really really help you feel that you're doing everything you can to integrate living in monarch society with the understanding that your whole body is conductive and needs your protection and support. All right, so stay tuned, sign up for my newsletter when you, if you want more tips on how to stay healthy in this very conductive world filled with electricity because we are conductive human beings and we rely on our conductivity to be the basis of our health and healing. And there'll be more on that soon, so stay tuned.